What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be revealing the secrets on how you guys can create these zoom out and zoom in transitions. After watching this tutorial, you'll be able to zoom out of any object and create a seamless transition. This effect has been used a countless amount of time in professional music videos. Definitely a good effect to have in your back pocket. Let's get straight into After Effects. To start with, we're going to transition from this clip right here and zoom out of the Canadian Goose logo, just like they did in the original music video. Roll D or Command D, duplicate your layer. I'm going to right click on this, go to time and make a freeze frame on that layer right there. I'm going to go ahead and stretch the freeze frame over the clip uh, just so that it kind of plays over the bottom clip like that. And we want the freeze frame to end as we are transitioning into the next clip. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust that so it seamlessly transitions into our clip like so. Now we're going to go ahead and grab the pen tool and make a mask. I'm going to go ahead and make a mask around this Canadian goose symbol. If you guys are using a different object, you just want to go ahead and mask out whatever you want to zoom out of. And in that sense, it's super versatile because you really just mask out anything and turn this into a seamless transition. For the sake of the tutorial, I'm just doing a super rough mask like that. Now you can see that our mask is overlaying over our clip. What I like to do is just go down into our mask right here and I'm just going to add a little bit of feather. That's just going to make it a little bit smoother around the edges. Go ahead and invert that right there. And now we've got everything but that symbol. And this is exactly what we want. Going to the end of our freeze frame, we're going to go ahead to the transform and keyframe that position and scale on our last clip as it goes in. Going to the first frame, I'm going to go ahead and scale it up super far and adjust the position. And essentially what we want is for this to be completely out of the frame so that it can kind of zoom out. So now it's completely out of frame like so. And uh, we've got a rough prototype version of the transition. Add a little bit of sauce, I'm gonna go ahead and tick the motion blur, as well as highlighting both of these and F9ing Easy Ease them. And playing that back, you can see it's a whole lot cleaner already with that Easy Ease and that motion blur. But from here, obviously, we don't want it to hard cut uh, the Canadian goose symbol. We want it to kind of fade over time like they did in the original. I'm gonna duplicate our freeze frame layer Going down into that, we're going to go to the masks and we're actually going to undo the invert. So now we can see that Canadian goose symbol again. Here, I'm just going to go ahead into the mask. And what I like to do is kind of expand the mask. Uh, so that way it kind of deals with that motion blur and that uh, feather that we added. Playing that back, you can see that it just goes straight into the symbol and we want it to fade out. Going to the end of that clip right there, we're going to go down into our transform and keyframe the opacity at 100. Then going back to the beginning, we want it to set to zero. And playing that back, you can see that the Canadian Goose kind of fades in. And just to make that a little bit smoother, we're going to go ahead F9 and easy ease that as well. And that's pretty much the finished transition right there. Super easy. And it's really versatile. Obviously, you can zoom out of anything you'd like. So now we're going to go ahead and hop into the second transition where it kind of zooms out of the window and the window rolls up. So right here, we have the two clips and I kind of just cut out the transition. We're going to go ahead and recreate what they made with the window. So it's pretty much the same process. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our layer. Going to the first frame, we're going to right click and go to time and add a freeze frame. Then again, we're going to go ahead and drag our freeze frame over our clip. We're going to go ahead and cut the freeze frame as we transition into the second clip like this. Go ahead, grab our pen tool and start masking out this window. Again, I'm just doing a rough mask for tutorial purpose. If you guys are doing a video for a client or something more professional, I highly suggest you guys, you know, take more time with your masks just to get it perfect. Right here, I'm going to close it off. And now you can see we just have the window kind of masked out. Go into the mask and we're going to invert it. And then again, what I like to do with the mask is add a little bit of feather to kind of soften up those edges. Here are the last frame of our mask. And we're going to do the transform right here. Keyframe the scale and the position. Then going to the first frame of our mask, we're going to go ahead and scale that up a lot and adjust the position as so. Now we've got that window just outside of our scene. We're going to go ahead and toggle the motion blur. I'm going to go ahead and easy ease these frames as well. And playing that back, we've just got that window kind of come in. So now we want the window to roll up as this transition is happening. And it's actually easier than you might think. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate our freeze frame layer. And from here, we're actually going to make our bottom clip the window. So that way it's not showing. I'm going to go ahead and undo the inverted effects. We're just going to go to the first frame and we're going to have the window be out of the frame down. So adjusting our position, I'm just going to go ahead and drag the window down. And playing that back, you can see that the window rolls up and it looks super cool. So again, this zoom out transition is super versatile. You can do it on pretty much anything you could imagine. If you guys do actually go ahead and watch this Babytron video, you'll see that they use it a ton and it looks super clean. Thought I'd go ahead and share that with you guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. If you guys do want to support the channel, check out missionstore.net. Got some fire editing packs on there. I do have some really cool packs coming soon, guys. I know you guys are going to love them. So stay tuned for that. If you could follow me on Instagram, join the Discord, and I'll see you guys in the next one later.